Hi, my name is Jason Sesmundo, and I'm part of the Ventec Life Systems clinical team. Today, we're going to talk about Voxin, but more specifically, a Voxin V Pro emergency. At its core, it's a critical care ventilator that has the capability of delivering oxygen from a high pressure oxygen source or a low pressure oxygen source. You also have the capability of compensating from an external nebulizer source as well. It's designed to work from the hospital to the home and on patients five kilograms and above. Let's take a look at what comes inside the box. The first thing I'm gonna grab out is my Voxin V Pro Emergency. Now, I happen to have a roll stand right here. You may have a roll stand or you may have a bedside table. Use whatever you have in the environment that you're currently working in. Voxin V Pro is designed to come out of the box that once I put the patient's circuit on and I turn on power, you'll automatically start ventilation. So I'm gonna start at the back of the device so I can show you how to plug it into power as well as connect to oxygen sources. The next thing I'm gonna grab out of the box is my power source. The power source is gonna come with two pieces. I have the cabling right here, and then I have the power brick that's gonna to connect to the back of the device. The cabling is gonna to connect to the power brick just like this. And then you'll actually have a retention clip that locks it into place. So I'm gonna set this big power brick on a tray down here. And then I'm gonna connect this other piece on the port right there. And it goes at a 90 degree angle and it threads in for security. And then I'm gonna to connect to my wall outlet. The next port I'm gonna show you is my low pressure O2 port. So this low pressure O2 adapter right here comes inside the box. At this point, you can connect to an oxygen tube or whatever low pressure O2 source that you have available. The next port I'd like to point out is my 50 PSI high pressure oxygen port. So I happen to have a piece of oxygen tubing right here. It does not come inside the box, so follow your facilities protocol for where you're gonna get one of these. So I'm just gonna thread it into place. Now you'll take the other end of this and just connect it to your E cylinder, your H tank, or your wall source, whatever 50 PSI source you have available. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the device around so I can show you how to connect a circuit. So we have an internal bacteria filter right here. That's where our external bacteria filter will go. We have an active porting block right here. And then we have one of our removable rechargeable batteries as well. What I'm gonna grab in the box is our external bacteria filter. Single patient use, follow whatever your institution's protocols are for changing this. There's actually a little notch right here and there's actually a notch right up here. I'm gonna line those two notches up and then twist to the right. You'll feel it lock into place. The next thing I'm gonna grab out of the box is my active circuit. So I've got the 22 mil cuff right here and I have my drive and sense lines. So I'm gonna connect my 22 mil cuff to the bacteria filter. And then I'm just gonna connect my drive and sense lines to the active porting block. Now I happen to have a test lung today, so I'm gonna to connect to my test lung. But before I do that, I just wanna show you that you have the capability to filter exhaled gas by just putting a filter in right there. And the last thing I wanna show you that what comes inside the box is our emergency quick start guide. So you can refer to this, it'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to power this device on and put a circuit on, or you can go to venttechlife.com for more information. So I'm gonna spin the device around to the front. So I'd like to show you the alarm silence button right here, and then our power button. So just press it once to turn it on, and as Voxen turns on, you're gonna hear a couple of loud beeps. That's okay, that's the in-op alarm testing itself. There's those beeps. And the first screen that you're gonna be brought up to, it's gonna ask you to do a pre-use test. Now, if you're in an emergent situation and you need to immediately ventilate a patient, you can simply exit out. But I'm gonna show you how to actually do a pre-use test right now. So I'm gonna follow the instructions on the screen. So I'm gonna to touch next, and it's telling me to disconnect the patient circuit. So I'm gonna disconnect from that test lung, and I'm just gonna hit start and leave the end of the circuit open. This first portion is just measuring the resistance. 
This next step, it says to block the end of the circuit. I have a demonstration circuit right here, so I'm just going to cover it with my hand. But if you had a brand new circuit, you'd probably want to use a clean gloved hand. So I'm simply going to hit next and just block the end of the circuit. This step is measuring the compliance. So we've got a green check mark. That's telling us that we had a successful pre-use test. So I can simply hit start and the ventilation's automatically going to resume. And then it's going to bring us to our main screen. So what I'd like to point out is this top row up here. That's what's called our status bar. As a clinician, that tells me everything I need to know about this device when I walk into a room. For instance, I can see where it says no alarms. That just tells me I did not have any alarms. As I move across the status bar, I see that V icon. That lets me know that ventilation is running. Next to that, I see AC volume. That just lets me know what mode of ventilation I'm currently in. Next, you see we have a padlock. That's our clinician lock. Currently, right now, it is unlocked, so I can make whatever changes I want to the device. Next, we have a little white hand touching a touchscreen. That is our touchscreen lock. So you can actually lock the touchscreen so no one makes any accidental changes to the device. Next, we have a power plug icon. That lets me know the device is plugged into the wall and charging up. And then we have three battery icons. So we have two removable, rechargeable batteries, and then we have an internal battery as well. You get up to nine hours of battery life on ventilation alone. So as I move down, you're gonna see four navigation tabs. So we have a home tab, a therapy tab, a monitors tab, and a menu tab. Currently right now, we're in our home screen. So we have three parameters displayed right here. You can customize what those parameters are, and I'll show you how to do that once we get to the monitor screen. We also have a night mode, so we can dim the screen if that screen gets too bright for you at nighttime. If you want to illuminate the screen, you simply touch the day mode icon, which is just right there. Now, if I want to get access to any of the therapies that Box and VPro has, I simply touch the therapy tab. And this is where we're going to get access to the therapies that are available. If I want to know more about ventilation, I simply touch the V for ventilation icon. Now your Vox and VPro emergency comes preset for AC volume, AC pressure, or non-invasive ventilation. If I want to make any changes, I simply touch the settings and alarm icon, which is just right there. Now maybe I want to change breath rate. So I'm simply going to scroll up until I see breath rate. I'm going to highlight breath rate. I'm going to edit. And maybe I want to go from a breath rate of 12 to a breath rate of 15. I'll simply type in 15 and hit accept. And so that's how we made a change. So now I can simply exit back out, which is on the left-hand side. So your Vox and V Pro Emergency has the capability of doing an inspiratory hold. That icon is just right there. And then touch the inspiratory hold when I'm ready. And then we can see our plateau pressure and our static pressure. So I can simply exit back out once I'm done and then I can exit back out to my therapy screen as well. So if you want to provide oxygen to your patient, all I need to do is touch the oxygen icon, which is just right there. So Vox and V Pro Emergency comes preset with oxygen settings. You have one set at 100% FiO2, another one set at 60% FiO2, and then the third preset is set to bleed in low pressure O2. So if I want to engage one of these presets, I simply highlight the preset I would like and just hit start. So maybe I'll touch the medium and I'll just hit start. So Voxen also has the capability to deliver 100% oxygen via O2 flush. I can simply touch O2 flush. And now that's going to run for three minutes and that's what that little timer is actually counting down for right there. If I want to stop the O2 flush early, I can by just touching stop O2 flush. And then you see we'll go right back to that 60%. So I'm going to hit stop right now. And you want to pay attention to these pop-ups because Voxen's telling you what you want to do. In this case, I'm going to touch OK. And that's how we provide oxygen to our patients. So I can simply exit back out. And then our last therapy is the nebulizer therapy. Touch in for nebulizer. And this is where you have the capability to compensate from an external nebulizer source and to deliver that nebulizer treatment to your patient. You can set the time duration for whatever you'd like by simply hitting the minus button or the plus button and then just hit start. I can exit back out. So now we've given our therapies, now we want to monitor our patient. So to do that, I'm simply just going to touch the monitors tab, which is just right there. 
So you have nine patient feedback parameters. So think about your PIPs, your MAPs, your exhaled volumes. We also have this down triangle right here. That's gonna give you your control settings. So think about what's my set rate, what's my set tidal volume, what's my set PEEP. So this way you can do a vent check by simply toggling back and forth. So I can hit this up arrow again. Foxen also has the capability to monitor waveforms. So I can simply touch the waveform icon right there and we can display two waveforms. Right now I'm showing a pressure waveform and a flow waveform. We could also display a volume waveform as well. We can exit back out. And then the last tab is our menu tab. So we have the capability of doing a pre-use test. Settings and alarms, think about your ventilation settings and alarms. Device settings, so this is where you would change your alarm volume, your date, your time. If you did want to lock the clinician access, which is that padlock right up there, this is how you would lock that clinician access. I can exit back out. And then we have our logs. So think about your current alarms that you may or may not have, as well as our events, which tracks up to 7,300 events inside the device. So I can exit back out. And that brings us back to the therapy screen. Foxen, it's simple, it's mobile, it's care changing.